Gaffer, the 4-1 win at the weekend, obviously there's positives to take from that performance, but as you said after the game, there were things we could work on and I guess that's what you're looking for ahead of tomorrow's game against Barnsley. I said to the boys immediately afterwards, it, to me it was a sort of 60-40 game possession-wise and when I looked at the pass count, I was spot on. It was a 60-40 game possession count and uh, that says to me that we aren't doing enough in terms of our work ethic with the ball. It says that our movement um, and, our, and our passing are not the level we need them to be at. We, I think we all know some of the reasons for that. If you look at Chrissy Forrester as a single example, you know, the boys played now, what, 18 months continuous, and uh, there's probably a little bit of fatigue settling in. But as I said to him, uh, you're going to get to a point where you're on a title running and fatigue sets in, and you've got to have a strong, you've got to learn to have a strong enough mind that you, you put that out of your mind and you put, you know, your focus. I'm in the forefront of your mind and, and our focus has to be to get back to playing the type of football that we know that we're capable of, with the type of energy that we know we're capable of, um, while sustaining the thrust and the, and the end product that we showed at the weekend because there's no question we're a clinical side, um, back to being top goal scorers which is where we want to remain. Yeah, you mentioned Chris Forrest, it's quite a unique situation that one because it's very often uh, not the case that a player will have a season in a league that dictates he has no rest going into another league in a different country. How can you manage that in, in a season at this stage? I suppose you can't really, you have to try and um, give him as much game time as you feel his legs can take. Well, we've, we've, we've been tried during the course of the year to give him um, little breaks here and there, um, get him off the training ground, get him back to Ireland. Uh, and just give him a, a little bit of respite from from the relentless nature of League One. There's a lot of games, but we, especially if you've got a cup run going as well, which we did have. So it's been it's been a it's been a, a tough run. But he's a young lad. He's um, he's a fit young lad, and uh, you know he's one of a number who have stepped into a different level of football, had to adjust to the to the different physical and mental demands, and uh, you know who are uh, doing so in difficult difficult circumstances. So as I say, I you know. I've said it before, I've shown some understanding of some of the issues our boys are, are facing. Um, the chairman and I uh, probably odds a little bit over, over that. I said that you know, in his, in his uh, communication last week. Um, definitely, he, he feels I'm, I'm too easy on, on the boys in, in situations where I think they need the understanding. And that, you know, the debate rages on. The good thing about the chairman is you can have a difference of opinion with him. And um, you know, he accepts that. He, he doesn't. He doesn't feel the need to be right all the time. He's prepared to have a, uh, an open, honest discussion with you. And uh, you know, sometimes you end up agreeing. Sometimes you end up disagreeing. But uh, at least you you can have those discussions, which is which is really good. The games we've got remaining are always against sides that do have something to play for, albeit you know the chances of some teams reaching the playoffs is slim, but they've still got plenty to play for. Does that come into your mind in terms of selection, in terms of not making it obvious that you you're trying to rest players? Well, it's not about resting players. It's not about giving players a chance. Uh, some some of the boys who um, play in the last four games uh, might be lads who are fresh in, but they might, they might be fresh in because I think, well, they've got a big point to prove. And uh, having that big point to prove might be our best way of winning the game. Our, our job is to go about these games um, in the best way possible. And so far this season, we've pro proved ourselves to be a mid-table side. Um, our results have been better against the bottom sides. Uh, they've been lesser against the top sides. And uh, that's been a fairly consistent feature of the season. You know, we've, we've been round about the mid-table in what, in what we've done. So, uh, it's, you know, the chairman's call last week said it all. We want to get out of this league next year. Um, he's not asking for it, he's demanding it. And uh, people at the football club need to wake up, smell the coffee and realise that they've got to prove themselves if they want to be a part of that. Um, you know, we'll, we'll sit down and have a discussion, Baz and uh, the chairman and myself, um, when the season comes to an end and, and we'll make decisions about who we think can and who we think can't and I know there's differences of opinion there and uh, if I was a player at this football club and I wanted to be a part of it going forward I'd definitely be making sure right now that I made my mark. And Barnsley had the opposition tomorrow obviously aside flirting with the playoffs and they've obviously had a, a great run from bottom to the top end of the table which shows what consistency can do in this league. Yeah I, th I think to be fair they, they, got, they sort of found their best team um, shortly after they played us. I remember sitting with Lee Johnson in... in uh, in my office after the game. Um, and I was expressing my um, surprise that Winnell wasn't playing. And uh, you know, at the time, Lee just, you know, he wasn't flavour of the month with Lee and things were as they were. And then Winnell got in and he started scoring goals and they are where they are. And they've won the Football League trophy and uh, unbelievable run. I watched them last week, um, good side, um, lots of ability. Old and random close, to be fair. I probably deserved the result on the night, but uh, you know, Barnsley did what sides at the top do. They, they win despite not playing very well. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for us. You know they're going to be um, 
playing at full throttle. They've got everything to play for. They're they're on the on the outskirts of things, but you know they'll know that they can get in there. So it's a great challenge, a good opportunity for our boys to show that um, they have developed the taste for winning um, when there's no real reason to win, except that there is a real reason to win because our fans are going to travel. Um, they deserve some reward for the efforts that they've put in throughout the season for us. Um, we all know the the issue that we've got with uh, season ticket sales and uh, we need to show people that we are serious about what we're going to do next year and you know it's one thing asking them to get behind us but we've got to give them something to get behind as well so I think we all know that and uh, it was probably Barnsley that put us down into League One um, on the final day you know of the championship year so uh, you know still a little bit of that that you know is unresolved business from from this football club's point of view so there's plenty to play for tomorrow